this video is going to be a quick one um, it's on dealing with um, objections from customers clients and um, when you are cold calling or you know generally engaged in some sort of selling um, of a service or anything so I work for a recruitment company um, as well as having my own business and recruitment business and everything associated with that I also do utility warehouse um, as a direct marketing selling company um, I also have a cleaning business so I do a few things um, most of which involve selling I like selling I'm quite I'm okay at it um, I like to improve as well so I watch other people that have years experience and a lot of them the good salespeople deal with objections differently it is the more you question someone the better so for example if I ring someone um, the conversation wouldn't go like this but at the start I would say would you like an employee um, basically we're a recruiter you talk to someone in HR you'd say look are you looking to hire anyone um, anytime soon or who do you use they'll say no we're not looking to hire anyone most people would say okay thank you for your time goodbye 99% of people do that and they say thank you for your time goodbye because they think they either think they're not gonna buy waste my time and um, let me find someone that does but what they're saying on the phone is they don't trust you they don't know who you are you cold called them um, they either want to hear more or they're genuinely You'll get a feel from the second and third question if you should cut that phone off. The first question will be, oh, is there, will you be looking to hire in the future? They will either say, not really, no. Or they'll say, yeah, we hire every six months, blah, blah, blah. Or we use this certain provider. And um, if they say, you just got to, whatever they say, funnel on. So if they say we use this certain provider, you'd say, how is the, are you happy with the service? How much do they charge? Um, would you be open to discussing a more competitive and better service would you be open to that most people would say yeah we would be but nearer to the time or they might say yeah you, you can send us an email over okay if they say yeah send an email over that's a polite way of saying get lost as well unless they genuinely ask for specifics and they genuinely want an email so you can always say yeah i'll be happy to set an email up and i'll also be happy to come down and meet with you if you'd like and um, that's another great way of doing it um face-to-face -face meetings will always smash um they'll always remember you because most people don't go and meet. So dealing with objections is a beautiful thing. If I knock on someone's door um, and I'm trying to sell them utilities, a utility service to save them money, I know for a fact it's a good product and they will save money, um, especially if they want one of the big sixes. Um, <clears throat> if they say to me, no, sorry, I'm not interested. Oh, would you be interested in this, this, this? So you wouldn't be interested in saving money on your bills even if it took 15 minutes? They would say, no, no, thank you. Or they'll say, yeah, but not right now. Okay, can I come back another time or can I leave my number? And you can call me when you're ready and then I'll, I'll be happy to come down and meet with you. Um, don't take no as a no. 90% of the time, it, a no will be no. But you can always flip it. And that's what you should aim to do, flip it. Do things that other people aren't doing is literally the key. And that's the difference between someone that makes sales and someone that, that just has an average um, sales record. And they'll always have an average sale record. 